And we're back. Hello again, everyone. Thanks for joining us for another ERS tutorial. Today, we're going to look at using the responsive builder to build a web page and add content to a page. Um, you guys should already have some pages created. If you don't and you need to learn how to do that, we've got another tutorial out there that teaches you how to build the pages or how to create the pages, I should say. So there's three steps when we look at building a site with an ERS. And those steps are, number one, create the web page or pages. Number two, tell the system where the pages live. And both of those steps are in that other tutorial. And the third and final step is adding content to those pages. And that's what we're going to look at today. OK, first thing you need to do is hop into your control panel. And that's where we are now. And of course, what I like to do is open my live site in another tab. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just by clicking the logo here. There we go. We've got our site up here. OK. So we're back in our control panel. And uh, what we're going to do now is look at how we add content and use that responsive builder. So let's go ahead and click on admin here. Then we're going to mouse over website. Now, if you recall, website pages is where, let's go ahead and take a look there, is where we uh, created the pages, step number one. And we built this guy here in that tutorial, web page number one. Now, if I go into this page here, if I click that, um, you see we've got this button, edit responsive content. That's going to let you open this web page in the responsive um, editor. Now, you can do that here, but like I said in my other tutorial, I like to keep everything in its own little place and do things step by step. Um, ERS gives you a lot of different places and a lot of different ways to, to accomplish the same thing. So this is one of those. You can click here to edit this page in the responsive editor. However, um, where I like to do that after the pages have already been created is if we mouse over website again and we go down to the responsive editor. Now what this does in this area is it shows us all of the web pages that we have in our site. And that's what you're looking at here. All these guys with the little blue active button. Anything from here down, responsive mode for store and cart enabled, this area down this all has to do with your cart or your store. So we're going to ignore that for now, and we're just going to concentrate on this top area here where it says responsive mode for pages. OK, so we see that uh, we've got a couple of different things here for each page. Number one is this little guy with a pencil brings up the editor for this particular page, for the Frequently Asked Questions page. So depending upon which page you want to edit in the Responsive Builder, you just click that little uh, icon. That's all there is to it. Now, when you click this icon, it's going to bring up the editor for that specific page. Whether you have that page turned on in the system as a responsive page or not. If it's grayed out, it is not turned on as a responsive page. It is a classic or static page. We can still hop in and edit it, okay? It does not need to be active or live as a responsive page to be edited. So to do that, we're going to click this little editor, and it's going to open up a new tab with that page. So when you first start out editing your pages, this is pretty much all you're going to see. You're going to have your menu up here where you've placed your pages, um, some information, you know, your phone number, logo, that sort of thing. And you can move these guys around and change the way they kind of look and feel, but that's in a separate tutorial. So for now, we're just going to concentrate again on building this out as a responsive page. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is turn the page on and make it active as a responsive page. So to do that, we're going to go back to our control panel and we're going to click right here where it says disabled. Now the web page is active as a responsive page. It is no longer in the classic mode. So let's go take a look at it on the live site. There she is, web page number one, nice and empty. Okay, so let's add some text in there and some imagery and let's start building out a page. So we're going to hop back over to the editor here and you'll notice that we've got this gear over here on the left hand side. What that is is called a flyout or a callout and that's where all of the modules live that we can apply to our page. So if we want to add text, we drop down a text module. If we want to add images, we drop down an image module and you get the idea. It's really very, very simple. So let's get started. So I'm going to mouse over the gear and here comes our flyout and we see the module categories here and then uh, the actual modules themselves listed below and we've got some buttons at the top. 
Saving does just what it says. It saves your work. And to make it live on your site, you have to save it. Or else all the work that you do, if you go refresh the live site, you won't see any of it there. And if you accidentally do a lot of work in here and click this refresh page without saving, it's all going to be gone. So make sure you save after you, you apply something or make a change. Okay, so back in here in the flyout, we've got the M button, which stands for move, and that's how we move modules and rearrange things on the page, and we'll get to that in a little bit. And then we've got the X, which, you guessed it, deletes modules. So let's get started here. We're going to add some text, and we're just going to click on the text category, and we'll add a header here. Okay, and all these these guys are, are pre-formatted for you. So um, this is justified center and it's a certain uh, size font. Um, some of them are bold, some of them aren't, some are justified left, some of them are centered. You get the idea. So again, the header text is uh, nice and centered here for us. And we're going to add some subtext here. And let's go ahead and change this text because we obviously don't want it to say header text here and subheader, subheader text here. First thing we need to do is save. So we're going to mouse over here, we're going to save it, and then we're going to click OK. Now, very quickly, this little window that comes up, um, this is personal preference, and, and I leave this up here. I don't put a check mark in here. If you put a check mark, you won't see this. So what will happen is you'll click the Save button, and then it just goes right back to your editing page. And the only way you really know that it's saved is to go look at your live site and do a refresh at that point. I like to leave this up just uh, to let me know that, hey, I did apply the save and it did take. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now if we go to our live site and we refresh it, there's our text. Nice and easy, right? OK, let's change what it says. Now with any module, you edit them all the same way. And that's just by simply clicking on the area that you want to edit. So these are both text. And if I want to change that text, all I do is I click anywhere on the text. So we can change this and we'll just give it the same title as the page itself. And now let's change the subtext down here by doing the same thing. We're just going to click on it here. Change this to say, hello everyone. Helps if I can spell properly. Okay, so now we have that updated. Let's go ahead and save it. And it, you know, it's not a lot of work that we've done now, but get in the habit of saving after you do something each time. Because if you don't, you'll add your images, you'll add your text, and go on and build the page. And then if you accidentally click the button like we were talking about earlier, or Command-R or Control-R if you're on a, on a PC, and you refresh the page, all of that work that you did is gone. All right, so we just saved it. Let's go back over here and refresh on the live site. And there it is. Okay. Let's add some images in here. Back to the flyout, we're going to click on Banners. We're just going to grab this guy here, this simple uh, banner with subtitle. We'll drag it here. Now, what the blue line is, as I mouse around, that just lets us know where we're going to drop this image, or this module, I should say, on the page. So I'm going to put it down here below the subtext. And now you see we've got the banner here uh, with some text that we can edit and a picture in the background. To edit the picture, it's very simple, just like the text. Click anywhere on the image to bring up the image editor. Now you'll see some images that are already in the system. We give you a, a few to play with when you first sign up. And if you want to add your own, all you need to do is click this button. Choose File, and it'll bring up a browser window, and then you can just select an image, click OK, and it will apply it. And not only does it apply it to the site, but it adds it here in your server. So it's here next time if you want to reuse it on another image or another page uh, or anywhere on your site. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and click this guy that's already uploaded. Okay, and there it is. So all we need to do to make this live is, you guessed it, go over here and save. Now you don't need to save this often, right? You can go ahead and edit the text first and that sort of thing, but just get in the habit of save, saving uh, often as you're working. So if we go back to the live page again, we refresh it. There's our image, nice and easy. Okay, let's edit some text here. All we do again is click on it. Cool image. And that's all we do to edit that text, just like we did up here. So that works the same, guys, throughout um, every module in the system. Anything you need to edit, you just click on it, nice and easy. 
One thing that I do want to mention to keep in mind is you'll notice that we have some subtitle text here right below where we just typed cool image. Now the subtitle text is different from this text here because it's a different size, right? It's the same font, it's just a different size. So if I wanted to edit it and add something else here, I could do that uh, just by clicking on it and editing it here. Now, the thing to keep in mind is if we didn't want the subtext, that's okay, we can remove it. If we just wanted cool image to remain here, we'll do that. Delete it, click update. Now it's gone. Now, the thing that you must keep in mind when you're doing that, it won't hurt anything, right? But you can't get back in here to add any text in that uh, smaller font size that was there. You, of course, can click here and do a carriage return and add more text and more text on and on and on, right? But it's all this size, right? We lost the smaller uh, text that was here. So if you do that and you make a mistake, if you saved right before you deleted that, you can just refresh your screen and you'll be right back there, okay? Um, or if you did happen to save after you deleted that, all you need to do is grab that module and drop it down here, okay? Let's put this back the way that it was. Cool image, oops. Click update, okay. I'm go ahead and save. Now, let's say that we wanted to move this image uh, between the text here because we don't like it down here in the bottom. Very simple, mouse over your fly out, click on this M button for move, and you'll notice that we get these little move handles on the right side of the screen. So any of these that I grab and move, um, it's going to move that specific module. So we want this banner to move up above hello everyone, which is right here. And all I'm gonna do is grab the M and drag and drop and let go. And now you see it's in between the text. And if I wanna move it up again, I can do that. And then save it. I'll click save here. Now if we go refresh on the live site, there you go, it's moved around. Now, deleting is just as easy as moving. To do that, we go over the fly out, we click the X here, and voila, it's gone. And then to make that change stick, we're gonna save. Okay, you guessed it, back to the live site, refresh, and it's gone. Okay, so you can see that you've got a lot of different modules here to play with, and all you do is click on the category that you wanna work with, and drag and drop that module, okay? Now, one thing that you need to be aware of, and it's the last thing that I'm going to cover in this tutorial, and that's adding your, your, your cart or your store onto your website. Now to do that, you'll go into Other, or you can go into All, and we're going to scroll through, there she is, and it's called Your Store. When you drag and drop this module onto your page, it's going to add your entire shopping cart or your store onto your site. Now the thing to keep in mind when you do this is you won't really see it in the editor. And let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go ahead and close this page out. And so we've got our live site open and we've got our control panel. And I'm going to go to the home page on our live site. And if we scroll down, here's the cart right here. Okay, So we've got order by date and it looks like we have three categories and we probably have some items in those categories. Now what's awesome about the store is, as you go into your control panel and you add more categories and more items, the system's all automatically going to update this cart for you, and it's gonna apply those categories here and here, and as you outgrow this, it'll add another row of categories here and here and here, and it'll just keep growing and adding the stuff onto your website for you. You don't need to do anything else. We make it nice and simple. The thing to keep in mind is, let's go open the editor for that home page, which is right here. Now, we've got the home page open in the editor, and we've got our actual live home page. And again, this is our store, and the thing that I wanted to show you guys is, this is it right here, where it says store. That's all you're going to see in the editor. You won't see the entire shopping cart or store like you do here. You're just going to see this little guy. And it is a module, okay? We can, of course, move it by clicking the uh, Move button. So you'll see that we've got it right here. We can delete it by clicking that red X there and just clicking right here. It'll remove the store. But again, I just wanted to let you guys know 
that you won't see it in the editor. You'll just see that little uh, bit of text. That is where your store is living. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy for you to follow along. Uh, please leave any comments on the site, anything uh, else that you'd like to see or, or any changes that uh, we can do to this to make it better for you guys in these tutorials. Just let us know. And if you need help, of course, tech support is free uh, as a client. So give us a call anytime we're here to help. All right, guys, thanks for hanging in with me on this one and get to building on your site. Take care.